G'day guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com and I am here at Naked and Famous' flagship store in New York City in Soho with Zeke. How's it going Zeke? Good, how are you doing? I'm very good, thank you for having us here. Yeah, thanks for coming. This is uh, a very important, exciting store for one because the, the floor is a selvage denim, right? That's right, yeah, yeah, 100% cotton Japanese denim. And also because Naked and Famous is the premier company on earth for selvage denim, this sort of old fashioned way of making denim that typically produces denim that is uh, thicker, wears in better, has cooler phase and all the rest of it. There's a bit more to it than that, but for simplicity's sake, that's what selvage denim is and Naked and Famous is the company to get it from. And and I'm here because people are always asking me, I want to wear boots in summer. Can I wear them with shorts? The answer is no. But there are some jeans that are lightweight enough that you can wear them in the hotter months. And uh, Naked and Famous has come out with some very interesting additions to the world. Some of the lightest weight denim and lightest weight pants that I've ever seen. And so for people looking for the best lightweight summer jeans, uh, this is the place to get them. Yeah. What have we What have we got, Z? Well, we've got a number of options this season, and this is not everything we have that's super lightweight, but this is just a couple of them that are a really great option. All of these denims are underneath 10 ounces, so it's very lightweight. It's going to breathe a little bit better in the summer. Uh, you'll be a little bit more comfortable. How, what's the What's the average weight of a pair of jeans normally? I would say on average in the world, jeans are right around 10, 11 ounces. For us, 12 to 13 ounces is pretty standard. Most of our jeans are right around that weight. Yeah, and it's it's very it's rare to see, uh, especially selvage denim under 10 ounces, uh, partially mm -hmm. because. The shuttle looms, like these old shuttle looms that make right. the denim, it's hard for them to make like a nice, thin, relatively dainty sort True, of fabric yeah. like this, right? But yeah. like Naked and Famous are magicians with their, with their yeah. fabric creation and they've, they've managed to pull it off. Let's start with the most kind of classic lightweight summer jean that we've got yeah. here. I would probably call it this one. This looks the most like your normal it's pair so of stuff. jeans, yeah. but it's very lightweight. Tell us about the Bluebird denim. Well, this is a pretty standard denim. You got this nice mid blue right here, uh, very wearable, um, super classic jean, nine and a half ounces, normal brown tan leather patch right here with a little bit of interesting color on it. Um, and of course, this is a selvage denim with a classic red selvage ID. Right, so oftentimes uh, selvage jeans, the, this, this footage of me wearing these jeans, by the way, they didn't have a 33, I wore the 32, Yes, it's a little bit tight, but uh, that's me modeling what, I, what I'm able to model right now. Uh, so yeah, this is like, if you want a classic jean that isn't too like bizarre and weird, Naked and Famous is very famous for their strange and bizarre jeans. I've actually got a video, where I'll put a card up here where you can see some of the most bizarre and crazy and weird jeans that they've come out with. Oh, yeah. But the Bluebird one, this is nine and a half ounces. And last year I got a pair of summer jeans that were 10 ounces and I was amazed at how lightweight they were and oh, I yeah. thought this is about as light as they're gonna get. But this year you got you got nine and a half ounce jeans. So yeah, this is it. So Bluebird, man, they come in uh, like three different fits. Uh, I'm wearing the easy guy here because I've got gigantic thighs and it's made for people with big thighs and big butts. Um, but they also come in, you know, weird guy and what's the other yeah, one? Super guy, guy, weird guy, and easy guy. All three of our main cuts. Weird guy is kind of like a slim straight. Super guy is a little bit more tapered, a little bit slimmer all throughout. Mm -hmm. Easy guy is going to give you a little more room up top in the seat and the thigh, but it still tapers from the knee down. Got it. All right, Bluebird is the first one. Looks just like a regular pair of jeans. Is actually the lightest weight jeans you've probably ever handled in your life. Uh, all right, then we've got Mainline, which is even lighter. Uh, yeah, only nine ounces. Now this is a pretty cool denim because this is kind of like a workwear, like vintage reproduction denim. A lot of denim very, like way back in the day, the late 1800s, early 1900s was made a very similar way to these ones. This one has like a nice white contrast stitch here. Um, this patch is very classic. This is called a wetback Durango patch. It's essentially a cardboard patch. Most jeans back in the day, they use some form of paper or cardboard. And you can see on like a vintage denim, a lot of times that patch has sort of come away and it's only remains where it was actually stitched down. So this is a vegan option, which is also pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't disappear in the wash? Eventually it will. I would say that's probably going to take, you know, 20, 30 years, depending yeah. on how often you wash it. Which is not often for a uh, naked or famous Especially if you want those fades, right? Yeah. Um, but this one's got a great texture to it. You can see that there's texture in both the warp and the weft, and there's a lot of these like nice white neppy dots here. So you get a little bit more texture, not quite as plain as the Bluebird denim, just a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I'd call this probably a good introductory sort of jean if you are interested in the more unusual sorts of denims you can get in the, in the world of selvage. So Bluebird one is really like just a solid classic kind of jean, not too different to the left hand twill, like which is the Naked and Famous is sort of like a classic flagship denim that's uh, a bit heavier, like 13, 14 ounces that one. That's right. But yeah, the mainline one here, this has little bits of nep and would you say little bits of slub as well? 
a little bit, yeah, you can see that it's kind of got this like crosshatch texture to it. Right. Um, and that's probably gonna come out a little bit more as you wear the jeans. Nap is what you refer to the little pieces of cotton like kind of protruding from the surface here. Uh, slub is like a bit more streaky. So this is a bit more of a modeled and interesting texture to it. If you're interested in that, yeah, again, exploring the kind of stuff that you can wear that uh, is, is more irregular because this kind of stuff was originally considered like flaws and faults in denim. It was typical 100 years ago when everything went very, when jeans went very perfect, when you know production processes went very perfect. They all kind of vanished around the 70s and 80s typically. But nowadays, a lot of people really prefer uh, having these like flaws in their jeans because it makes them you know more human and more individual as well, and just makes them a bit more interesting to look at. So yeah, the, the mainline one. This is nine ounces. This is the, the definitely the lightest selvage I've ever had uh, in my hands as well. So that's it for the 100% cotton jeans that are very very lightweight. Uh, two pretty solid options. Yeah. But we have some other options. The first yeah. ever of this kind of jean that Nick and Flames has ever come out with. So this is a raw linen denim. It's 100% linen, um, but it's woven the same way as a denim is. So it's still a twilled fabric, um, but it's made of 100% linen. So it's very soft and airy. You can see just looking at the fabric, it drapes totally differently. It's gonna really hang off of you in a nice way. Um, and it's gonna feel super comfortable for the warm weather. Now this fabric's not selvage, um, but it's gonna be super comfortable for the warm weather. It's only nine ounces, so it's the same weight as the main line. Um, and it comes in this natural linen color. This fabric is not dyed or bleached. This is just the natural color of the linen. And then we've also got a black option as well. Yeah, so nine ounces makes it the same weight as the main line, but because it's linen, it's gonna feel even lighter and more oh, totally. airy. Yeah. And again, uh, when I was modeling these natural ones, we only had a 32 instead of a 33. And, and word of warning, if you're getting something lightweight and something light in color, you really need to make extra sure that it's not going to be too tight because really yeah. everything kind of comes out on your on your body during that one. So that's that's my tip for anyone getting lightweight jeans. Uh, yeah, don't don't go too tight, especially if they're light in color. Uh, so this is the first time that Nathan Famous has ever done linen jeans. They've done to my knowledge, they've done yeah. partly they've done yeah. partly linen jeans before. This is the first time it's ever been 100% linen. So that's that's really really cool. Uh, and as you can see, it does it does drape differently. It shimmers a little bit. The whole texture of it is completely different to your normal jeans, but they are they're, they're cut and, and woven in the same way as regular denim. So it's uh, yeah, they're pretty pretty interesting options. 100% yeah. linen jeans. I've got a trip to Italy coming up later this year, and I totally want to wear linen walking around there, yeah. maybe with a Panama hat. Yeah, linen is super popular in warmer climates because it's actually a little bit wicking. So if you get sweaty, it's going to help with that. Um, and it's just super breathable. Air travels through it very easily, so you're not going to be super hot. Yeah. Now there's also a couple more jeans we wanted to mention that aren't here right now, but they will be out here out later this summer, and they'll be in the description if they're out yet. The first is the Sky High. The Sky High, that's right. So yeah. Last year they had the it was called Summer Sky. Summer Sky it was. Last and this year, so. this is his footage of me running around in them uh, from from last year. That was 100% cotton back then. Uh, today you've come out with Sky High. Yeah. And this it's called High because it has some it, some. It's hemp gonna be in. a hemp blend. Yeah. 20% yeah. hemp. Um, so hemp is also a good moisture wicking fabric. Yeah. So it'll be more comfortable for the warm weather, and that's a 10 ounce denim too. So it's gonna be a little more breathable. I'm interested in that because I've been seeing more brands coming out with hemp shirts and, and yeah. hemp clothing this year. Uh, is it, it, it's very breathable, it's lightweight, is it, is it yeah, so similar it like that? it should be a little bit more comfortable than cotton for the warm weather. Okay. Um, but yeah, hemp's a, hemp's a good resource. It's being, it's getting a lot more popular these days. For right, the, the Sky High one, uh, partly hemp, mostly mm -hmm. cotton. And there's one more, I'm bummed out that it isn't here, but it, it hasn't quite come into the store yet, but it's the lightest weight denim you're ever gonna find in your entire yeah. life. The ultralight tech denim. So this is a super lightweight denim. You could consider it a featherweight. It's only five and a half ounces. So it's about half as thick as these denims right here. So very, very thin. However, it's gonna be made with 23% nylon. And nylon is very, very durable. Generally, when you make a denim thin, that's like five or six ounces, you're pretty likely to get a hole not too soon. Um, yeah, because like a, a big font will put a hole in you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they're not super strong, but nylon is a super durable fiber. It's very strong, and those jeans are gonna be woven fairly tightly. So it should be a pretty durable denim. It's actually super stiff and uh, wrinkly too, so. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be cool. That's very dark blue as well. You, well, super it's gotta dark. be at that weight as well. Oh yeah. Totally. Yeah, you don't wanna be yeah. too, too light. Um, it's worth uh, it's worth pointing out there. There are a lot of guys in uh, salvage land, heritage land, guys who like these sorts of jeans, who will swear off anything that has polyester in it or nylon in it or anything like that. Uh, if that's your thing, that's fair enough. But uh, the if you want something that's five ounces, 
For one, it's not salvage because the machine would probably destroy it. Yeah. And also, the, again, if it's cotton, it'll, it might tear apart like tissue paper. So you have to yeah. throw in some nylon there to increase the durability of it. But many would consider that a, a perfectly acceptable compromise to make to get five yeah. ounce jeans that will allow you to wear. Five ounce, very light. Yeah, yeah. you can wear a long a pants. Lot of most t-shirts are five ounce, so it's about as thin as a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's a really cool option. Uh, that is not here right now, but I'm definitely going to get a pair when it comes out. Okay, all right, well, uh, keep an eye out. Links in the description below. Uh, when the jeans are out, I'm gonna put them in there. Um, but yeah, most of these jeans are out right now. You can check them out. Uh, and yeah, you don't have to give up your boots or long pants in the summer anymore because exactly, yeah. yeah, we got some. There are five ounce pants out there that you can mm -hmm. wear instead. So yeah, the possibilities are endless now in uh, 2022. This is the 2022. Naked Famous Collection, uh, and uh, yeah, unbiasedly, no one's paying me to say this, this is the best place to get your lightweight jeans, because no one else uh, experiments with denim quite the way Naked and Famous does. Uh, thanks for having me, Z. Oh, thanks for coming by. This is Naked and Famous' Soho store in New York City. Make sure you come by, because there aren't many Naked and Famous stores out there, and this is the best one. If nothing else, come to see the jean-colored floors and the salvage uh, uh, curtains in the changing rooms. Oh, totally. And also the wall of fades behind us. It's a trip. It's, a, it's, it's an attraction in and of itself in New York City. So make sure you come by uh, and subscribe to this channel as well if you just find up here because there's a lot more content on boots, denim, and heritage stuff coming up. Thanks.